Radiant's pick. Dyer's pick. 我是一个没有感情的刷钱，我是一个没有感情的刷钱机器。Yeah, there we go. It is the centaur that they're gonna grab. That's gonna help them around. No one. Oh, the shard block coming out from Omar. No tail watching on the sidelines. Can't really help this sniper at all. It's gonna be Wooter bringing up the crit swarm for the last hit, taking first blood. Already thunders and a D ward. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the dusk is always ready. I mean, yeah, it's a very, very shiny broccoli uh, stuck to the barrel. <laughs> It does say it's like a Gilead gunman, you know, like you have this, uh, this kind of literal sniper cosplay, but the gun is, it's kind of like out of this world. <laughs> out of this world. I guess, uh, no one is also a bit out of this world. No tail. Gonna be con trying to connect the pull from Omar as they're already doing some lane pulling shenanigans here. Ah. Yeah, actually, it does make a lot of sense. No tail getting caught there. Right there wanting to join in on the action. Finding a pretty easy kill. Tusk DP. These, these guys have a lot of burst damage. Like, pretty, pretty scary to trade off of these two. Someone took out the Radiance Courier. CS also looking pretty even here uh, in the mid lane. Noob and Thompson both at uh, 11 currently. And at the top lane, a bit of an attempt onto the Centaur, but a turnaround with the Bushwhack and the uh, the Hoof Stomp. You have these two long stuns. Yesterday we did see uh, what the Rubik Centaur lane can do with a lot of first and a lot of lockdown, which enables them to also get those extra right clicks in. Centaur, no hefty hero. Right click damage is definitely there. Morphling having to go for the strength more, but do they have the damage for a double edge and Seb calculates it with MSS and gets their first kill on the side of OG. Also, one pretty important interaction uh, with the snap versus the hoodwink is if the bushwhack lands first, you can cook your friend off of the tree, and it doesn't destroy the tree, but it disjoints you off of it. So, uh, if you get it at the same time as bushwhack uh, is landing on your ally, uh, you can basically just recover your hero, free him off instantly, and help him to turn around for back into action. Shards though in the bot lane, Omar trying to catch the Marcy, but they got, got their sights on the sniper. No one, a lot of stick charges with a fairy fire burn, just not gonna do enough. And it will be a third kill for the Death Prophet. I think... Got it. They have effect. Getting the water rune. Bye! Needs <laughs> <Eat some> more. <laughs>
1k net worth lead as well for uh, Ordu Thunders coming in the early minutes. The only hero not having too much CS is the Morphling, but uh, that one kill could also loosen up the lane a little bit. It is pretty, still pretty 50-50. Both uh, cores have died in the top lane. He has been even. Nice bushwhack there from MSS, and they've got the Morphling down. Beautiful combo coming out there. Wasn't actually suspecting to getting uh, to get caught with that bushwhack at all. Basically pixel perfect from MSS. No strength morph. Easy kill. Yeah. Killing lane. Yeah. Gotta... Oh, they're gonna use the rebound exactly there, trying to keep Wither away. At least the sniper has to keep some. What they can do here. AA blast. Not gonna quite connect, and no kill in the bottom lane either. That's their, uh, kind of, you know, maybe a bit of a taunting AA Blast, like making his presence known. Beware, Morphling players. Kinda wanna touch upon the Morph versus Hoodwink matchup once, because it feels like the Hoodwink always has an edge throughout this entire game. It's just down to the Morphling, can, does he make a mistake or not? The Hoodwink can just, you know, poke around, you can always... Yeah. <laughs> Just don't make any mistakes, <laughs> exactly. With, uh, you know, the, the, the bushwhack into sharpshooter with no strength morph usually is enough to just kill the morphling straight from 100 to 0. Actually, early on. Towers getting the business. A prize! Behold! around! Let us fight! Quick draw! Hey, Blast. Yeah, it's a bit late. Uh, probably was suspecting if he continues for the dive and maybe... Maybe he gets a kill with it. Or do Thunders up to five now. Morphling also catching up and CS. Bit curious about this, uh, this ancient apparition build up. Uh, what's like your most efficient item on on AA as a core? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Bit of a different uh eggs on AA. It's still pretty much the same as it used to be, except it's not the uh, constant Beast. chilling touch spam now. Just 50% reduced cooldown. Still very effective. And I like the Witchblade buildup, if you, if you can get it. Oh, it moves cooldown and reduces mana cost. Oh, okay. So, uh, something about that bottom tower. thought it would be like a 1.5 second cooldown, unless you have a talent to reduce it as well. No, all right. It's like a one second cooldown chilling touch, but basically it's the speed of your dry click anyway. A blast to the top lane. Definitely, that is uh, that is also a very easy gap closer to get to the sniper using the puck coil and Thompson. He has teleported bottom. They'd like to kill the DP if they can. No tail, playing aggressive in. Even the uh, Wildwing Ripper actually pushing the DP a bit closer to him. 
Still a bit too far away, Wooter. It's really down to him now. There's no tail ready for the jump in. Misses the stun, but the AA blast from short blank range. And DP with the exorcism, not gonna be enough. No HP region for you. No one will be traded off though. Omar gonna be puddled down by Thompson for a double kill. And he's still got plenty of resources. 14 stick charges, Bushwhack coming out as well. Can they take the puck to Noob? Going for the quick orb and jaunting himself to safety. And Thompson, no AA blast, no tail. Trying to give some vision for another extra poke, but this puck, he's already out, and it's going to be a two-for-one trade. Uh huh. Oh. extra pool of HP to pop. Especially if that AA blast is not active, if the debuff is not on you. Uh, big, big difference. Plus the siphons. Hobson deciding to go for a four staff after he's uh, finished off his Falcon Blade. So, Guess what's happening to Dyer's you know, it tower. is Topson. He never really uh, goes with the meta. He's the one who plays his, his own Dota game, makes it work. MSS, he's ready for the kill. Look at this. This is what the combo we talked about. You catch the Morphling once. Bushwhack into Sharpshooter. Easy kill. All by himself. Oh. Beautiful. And they turn around. Dyer's top towers getting beat down. Ooh, they still decided to go in. They do have the sidekick at least to help out a bit here. No tail. He's gonna he finally getting killed off by the Witchblade ticks. Constant pummel from Noob. Kind of already got out once, but they were looking for a turnaround and instead uh, didn't get the backup that they needed in time, costing the Marcy's life. But if you look at net worth, uh, that one kill actually proving to be pretty important here on the Morphling, because uh, he is still dragging behind. Kaori actually going to get caught by Thompson and MSS here. Snowball save. Moving in with Omar, fighting versus three. They're going to need some backup. That's one sharpshooter being loaded up. Tusk is getting taken down. Thompson finishes him off. Maybe. Silence. The Dyer might want to mine the top tower. That's four in a row. Dyer's top yep. tower. You know the drill. The Dyer might want to mine the top tower. No breaking through the Dyer's structures for now. Dyer's top towers, you know the drill. Dyer's top towers gone. Yeah. And also looking at their Roche potential, which could be very slow. Uh, you don't want to really wait for the second Roche on. If you had something like an Ursa or a Husker Dyer's or uh, an OD or something like down. in your team, maybe yeah. then you could opt to keep the shard option for later. They're going to trash him actually with the coil. And Kaori with the Mortimer's Kisses. Yep, they're gonna make it make it sure that they're gonna get this kill. But Ot Ulchi, can they respond? Zep with the blink reveal, gonna get the stun onto the snap fire. And Omar also stuck on the high ground. Stampede being used so they can get even closer in. Thompson literally in melee range. They will finish off Omar. They get Kaori as well. So a bit of revenge. Can they get Wooter? If they do, it's gonna be a really good trade off. Blink stun from Zep once again. And the DP getting caught. Trying to throw out those siphons to regenerate, but it's not gonna be enough by the looks of it and he's still surviving but uh it's not gonna make it out alive it's only down to seconds they get themselves revenge for no one's death Double I 
Silence. Am I catch noob? Silence. Bushwhack. Bushwhack. Dutch is actually both incoming abilities. No tail can't get close enough for the lift. The slow though is gonna be. Oh, the bushwhack doesn't connect. Puck still has a bit of a cooldown going. The stun connects as well. He comes out of the snowball and he's got frozen feet right after Puck getting stuck. And Thompson tries to TP home. Not gonna happen. Set three man stun. Follow up from No Tail. They're gonna take down Omar and Wooter and TA2000. Just gonna have to. Poke a couple hits in. They've lost quite a lot of heroes. Not just a three for one and bottom. Now two heroes to follow up in that, making I technically a five-one trade. Die Could be a sixth down. kill He's for old G as the snap fire. Getting caught as well. No tail with the follow-up stun. That's four to yeah. Six that? kills in less than a minute. A prize. Dyer's mid towers having technical difficulties. Radiant's top tower is in bad shape. Still, net worth tied even between these two teams. All G stacking off with heroes towards this mid lane hits. to protect no one with the Radiant push. Gone and they were to jump the sniper. They've got their tools to reply. Tough as nails for now. It's Radiant's gonna be pretty good for them to get rid of this mid tower. That is gonna reduce Roshan area control or already thunders and they're just going to let it slide tower could use a little help. top tower trade radiance top towers and bad shit mid towers nothing now he's kicking in kari scouts it out oh. one last top tower for Cancel. the radiant Bit of a bait TP, but okay. A, a blast from Seps Blink stun onto Omar, and Morphling also got the debuff, so he has to play carefully here. Can't go for strength morph here right away, and look at that. That's one, that's two. How about that? The rescue play. Getting in. Radiant's bottom towers seem better days. Try. Dyer's mid tower won't last much longer. Yeah, I feel like it, it does feel a bit that Ordy Thunders are uh, right kind of dropping the ball here. It's gonna be big if they can get this puck kill. Still living, Thompson though, he's got it. Here he does secure himself a double kill on both of the supports, but Thompson, one versus three. He's got backup coming, Seb. He's approaching, he's got that blink stun. A8 blast from Thompson, will connect onto Omar. Still continues to throw those big punches. And Seb, oh, okay, he was about to blink on the, it was actually gonna stun on the spot, but he's gonna get the connection on the DP. Thompson doesn't TP home. Canceled by Omar. Now no one. Hyper. Take this fight. Let you be. So it. Fight on. I've seen it. Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. Yep. Radiant's mid towers get banged up. Radiant's toughened up their structures. Radiant's bottom towers seem better days. Yeah. Tier one for Roshan though. Uh, it's so, uh, old G, I think Ordu Thunder is scouted out, the, they're probably in the pit, they've got some vision around the area. Uh, they did see one of the heroes, uh, 
walk right next to the cliff. Might have been no tail. Put the ward down at the top top side of Roshan, but uh, a tower. Radiant bottom and tower. And Aegis now on the sniper are going to make it a lot difficult to catch this guy. And actually, if you look at the look at Seb's build up here, with the uh, he also has a pipe. You extend those fights a bit longer. Has a vanguard and the blink and orchid. Radiant's bottom tower seem better than you. That's a good attempt with the stampede trying Radiant's to get to the tree tower. line. Puck is out of there though. But yeah, uh, I really like the idea. Blink stun, even with his shard on the morphling, can't cast it if uh, if you're silenced. Radiant your strength to morph up. Or you can just lock it in if that's also the case. He has no damage after Snapfire. Dying You're a bit too deep, tower. my friend. You know the drill. Radiant's mid tower. Gonna get a bit of a, a couple warning shots from Thompson and MS. Okay, screw the warning shots. He's just gonna go straight for the ice blast. Tempting for a kill here. Oh, there's a pushback on two. Catching Radiant's Omar and Winter. MSS catching both of them. No tail. Has been taken down by Noob, though. But no one. He's for hammering down those hits on the sniper. No mercy for the DP. And Omar. Oh, boy. Well, finds himself all by himself, surrounded by Radiant's so many enemies. They got the mid tier one tower, but uh, a costly fight, nevertheless. Behold, silence! A prize. Ah. I, I will just. Yeah. Still a. Uh, 2k net worth lead for Ordu Thunders, mainly as TA2000 finally been able to catch up on farm. He's got four deaths, but he's still got 200 CS, so his his pace is still up there. Followed up by the puck and also the DP having such a good laning stage definitely does uh, play a big role here. AA, not exactly a hero that spends time farming. He looks for kills, but uh, Seb, he is tanky, but how tanky in the end is he? AA Blast connecting up to Omar and to Wouter. Only doing damage to the tusk. Not a follow-up opportunity anymore. Die best do something about that bottom oh, tower. Very cute. Hey, how you going? Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Clear as ice. Oh. Get a bit caught up here. Yep. They just need two heroes in mid. They're heading straight towards the triangle, taking a bit of a wrap around Omar, already cutting out the smoke area here. Radiant Good positioning for him, he's gonna pop days. any smokes approaching, and he sees no tail. And there goes your uh, surprise advantage. Taking away, Stampede, Seb wants to go. Can't catch the stun, too far away. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. Yeah, asserting dominance. The Dyer best do something about that bottom tower. Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. Dyer just couldn't save that bottom tower. Yeah. No such thing is too much damage. Yeah. And also, uh, also on the morphling, he's got uh, he's got four items built halfway. Okay, now three as he just finishes off the BKB. You know, get uh, can still upgrade Yasha, can still upgrade Glance, can still upgrade the mask. Still got a 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, luckily. Hmm. <laughs> Reaching out to your Lacoste. <laughs> but true. Yeah, it's also in the cover of darkness. No vision in this area. But no tail. He knows. Something's definitely up. Nobody's showing anywhere on the map. And he's actually going to get surprised by it. He just walked behind the tree line. And uh, ends up costing his life. They caught the sniper. It turns around with the BKB. No, no tail coming in with the fire back. They got Blink stun from Seb onto the DP, though. And now just waiting for their time. They've already used the Ice Blast, though. Not looking like a hot fight. No one already down. Beautiful stun. The coil connected on three. And they've got themselves MSS. They got no tail as well. Seb on the run. And Thompson retreating to the high ground as well. Seb, he's just trying to buy some time. You know, he is a tanky boy. He can't really do much to all all of these chasers, but he's gonna have to forfeit his life. Yep. Mm. from OG. It's even better than the initiation coming out from Ordu Thunders. They were uh, suspecting to get a jump with their war. They had vision and MSS able to turn the whole whole shalada around. And I'll, now that I also think about the, the grenade on the sniper, maybe this is no one thinking I had some PTSDs from the laning stage of constantly getting blocked by the shards. Now I have a way of jumping over Radiant's it. bottom tower seen better days. Behold! I'm not opposed to taking the occasional bounty. Yeah. Yeah. I also want to... I guess... Yeah, you definitely need a, uh, a Dispel, a Lotus, something like that on the side of OT. about that. Thompson. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, MSS found the... They found the other ward place down here with the sentry, but they did not suspect a second ward in this area. And they're gonna get surprised by it. Set perfect target to start things off if they can kill him in time. And TA2000 turns into Sniper. A Blast will be connecting. Also have no tail with the Unleashed. Gonna turn around and try to take TA2000 down. That looks like they're gonna be able to. He's down. Gonna trade off both of the carries. They do get the, the Seb Centaur out of the way though. Thompson. Does have the illusion rune to purge off the Witchblade effect. Also getting a bit of a turnaround onto the puck too. Two for one. But without the carry, you can't do Roche either.
We are <clears throat> closing up on the 30 minute marker here in our first game. Or do Thunders with a uh, 6k lead. And for now, the time being is uh, perhaps showing a win rate positive on their side. Still could go either way. This game is pretty much... Well, I wouldn't say that's a stalemate, but uh, something like that. Pretty even matchup. The first uh, even game we've had so far on the stream, so we are wel welcoming it with open arms. Want to see some good Dota. We're finally getting some good Dota. How fast, though? That's a really quick Roshan. Already down a halfway. Gonna go in instantly if they're gonna make it in time. 3k HP are still remaining. Oh, no. Coming in with a jump. They've got Thompson in the back line. Snapfire ulti coming in as well. They're gonna be taking down Thompson. Set with a two-man stun. But do they have the damage to fight back? And TA2000 goes into the Roche pit. He wants to steal this Roshan for himself. And OT, they are protecting this Roche pit area. They are split, though. But they can't get to it in time. And TA2000... With that fight, they get Thompson out of the way, they secure Roshan, they secure the shard. He's it gonna use it. Like... Yep. Radiant's mid tower could use a hand. Looking for more. Old G, you gotta be careful here. Okay, so sad. Yep. <laughs> That's just gonna keep on going. Yeah, the uh, I was I was a bit worried for Old G. Like, do they really want to stay in here? Like, maybe they suspect Ordu Thunders is gonna split and maybe give a hero kill. But the bot lane was already pushing in. Kind of an obvious sign that this tier 2 tower is going to be the target. They're going to move Trouble there as a team. And, and they find tower. Seb on the way out. Radiant on the way in, even, in this case. Fortified. Forcing out the glyph, though, buying a bit of time. Now with this bot tier 2 tower falling, basically, uh, Ordu Thunders claiming this bottom half of the map for themselves. No longer welcome territory. There goes Radiant's bottom tower. Dyer's mid towers is having that? technical difficulties. Kaori also deciding to go for uh, an extra BKB on the snap, just just to stretch those fights a bit longer. And can also then start to initiate with the uh, with the cookie, or at least be even closer to the front lines when you have, once you have that. No cancel, no silence from Seb. Sorkit will uh, prevent you from getting your ulti off. Just having that extra insurance. Dragging his uh, courier around until he has inventory space to actually pick up the gem. I gotta say, I really like uh, old G's map movements here, despite the uh, the Aegis situation. It's already down to two minutes. They've only lost the tier two tower with it, and they're still able to push out the top lane, keep the mid wave pushed out, and not really end up in trouble of already or thunders jumping on any uh, singular hero. They're moving pretty much as a stack, but they've been pushing out these waves very actively. Radiance mid tower. Eventually, though. Are gonna lose another 2-2 tower and soon gonna have to face the inevitable, which is the high ground defense. They're actually forcing them back to the tier 2 tower in the top lane, away with the stampede, so that's gonna... They're gonna keep their 2-2 tower up. This is really good from them if they can get out Noob. Can he find anyone with the coil? Nope, he can't. These are really good map moves. Trying to get... Good thing is the network... Invisibility. 
pretty. Dyer's mid tower won't last much longer. Gotta be careful of the. Silence! Gotta be careful here with the Alpos. They got the stun onto Thompson here. Followed up by TA2000. Actually getting a bit of a turnaround opportunity. Thompson blows up the Aegis and no one. Getting some damage out now at the fourth of BKB. And he needs to get out of this one, but he can still grenade. He's gonna be safe on the other side of that snow wall. And exorcism spent for Ordu Thunder's Aegis gone. Losing the A8 doesn't really feel like much of a loss for old G here. Just gotta have to, just gotta keep everyone alive. Radiance mid tower's getting banged up. Radiance mid tower hey, ain't doing so good. My back. Trying to poke. Still a tier two. Orphan died every single time he's. Yep. Oh yeah, that's man, that's really spicy. Has the eggs, almost a moon shard of attack speed. Oh yeah, that is really nice. Haste. Yeah, I also had some uh, morning eyes uh, early on when we talked about that uh, AA Angst. I thought there was some small My rework to it, right. but uh, I, th I thought it said reduces, but it says removes cooldown, as you were saying. <laughs> Me, what, half an hour to realize? Yep. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, these aren't the real gamer hours. Uh, we're thinking about Seb for a second. I'm already popping his tag team. Snap the coil or snap the puck. Trying to set up with Ice Blast for a quick kill on Kaori. Snowball save. BKB is by Sam. Snappy coming in as well. No one coming from the side. No tail. Puff is unleashed. They have Sharpshooter loaded up. Omar is going to be taken down. No one finishes him off with a final right click. A lot of resources spent for one kill. Over to Thunder is thinking about going back in. Omar coming up with the buyback. They're going to get the grenade. Move themselves to safety. BKB already used a nuke going off to Thompson. Thompson going to be taken down. He's gone for 70 seconds. Gem down to the ground too. And Sep going to be followed off as well. A triple kill for TA2000. The Radiant's courier is a goner. Yep. Radiance mid tower could use a hand. Radiance mid tower's getting the what for. Radiance toughened up their structures. We talked about OT may be able to snatch a game. It should happen with this draft, and currently it's looking like it. Radiance mid -rank. Not looking too hot for old G. They're gonna lose MSS without using too many resources on a no tail he just bought back. Barely before the, the DP silence does connect, but he got Radiant his cast off before it. That would have been a right dieback, and no one Radiant to defend except no one. Bottom tower. Nope. Radiant's bottom rack. Bring the poke while TA2000 continues with the push, and that's going to be two laser racks secured for OT. Ain't no longer with us. Old G in big law trouble. I have punching for you. Give me a guess. Give me a second ah. guess. I'm gonna say 131. Oh my god! I oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Streamer luck, eh? <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like if we have if we have chat around, guys, can we get some easy claps? All right, all right. Yeah, man, is a Nostradamus. He already knew. That's why he wasn't saying it earlier. But Seb. Already getting some quick poke here from the Snapfire Noob with a double damage rune. Full resources on both sides. Only one buyback for old G2 buybacks. The side of OT. And they're going to go for a smoke up. No vision. Really down. This could be the last fight of old G. If they get surprised here. No tail. Good position to pop smokes. OT, they're, they're just waiting it out. Being sneaky like. I 
my back. I have a wall. Now they're still uh, playing the waiting game here. Scan on Roshan. Still no moves coming out. Old G. Need to hold their position. Now they're finally going to move into the pit. They see Kaori waltzing right in front of the Roche pit. Tag team with Morphling. A lot of damage. Tag and Roche. Oh, my sweet sister. Yep, now they see the exorcism. Yeah. Something bad. It's inside the base. Radiance courier. You gotta pick between uh, two poisons. Choose your battles. Which one's more important, the base or Roshan? We are gonna jump on the back one. Noob with the two man coil. Thompson being the target once again. AA gone. He got the five back. Oh, TA 2000 down to half HP. And fighting against three right now. Stampede gonna be used as well. And Ordu Thunders. Still full control of the fight. AA blast. That's gonna be a bit of a miss. Could use a hand. Gonna reset, but they're gonna let this Roshan for the time being get for uh, into the hands of the old G. Audio oh, Thunder is still outside of the pit. Shards inside. They've got info now. They have to go in. They're gonna take the challenge. No one gonna be taking the agent for himself. But the axe goes for the tusk. He snatches it for himself and set with his BKB. He's gonna run out. No one down. Sniper all by himself, surrounded by red enemies. The whole dire team gonna combine their forces. The real Power Rangers move on top of the sniper. No one down. And Thompson, he just bought back. And he looks like he's gonna be dying back as well. And Ordu Thunders with these kills, I'm pretty sure that seals out the game as well. Noob still with a two man coil. GG. Radiance mid towers in trouble. Chalk it up with the dire.